Next breaking news update. We did talk about this on the True Crime Talk Show just because it literally came out that day or maybe the day before and it was important and I think it should be on both shows because it's everybody needs to keep an eye out. So we covered yes. the Rachel Morin case a while back. It was about six months ago when that happened. Um, August 6, 2023, she was 37 years old and was the mother of five children. Um, she went hiking on or for a run on the Mom Paw Trail in Bel Air, Maryland, um, and didn't make it back home. Mm. Um, she was later found by s- basically civilians, um, you know, just people of the public that were searching for her uh, with the police. Yeah, and I think an underage girl and her her dad. Unfortunately, well, her dad wasn't there, um, but she called her dad and told her what she saw, and it was a horrific scene. Um, absolutely awful. Um, she was snatched off the trail and you know drugged to some big train tunnels, um, and horribly savagely attacked. Um, this guy got away. Um, they got DNA from the crime scene. They ran it through CODIS and then they got a hit, but it's an un- unidentified man who also committed a crime a few months back in LA uh, previous to this. So they went and looked for that. They found a uh, ring doorbell footage of him leaving that home And now we have more details on Mm. what happened at that home. And we officially have a sketch of this man Um, putting it up on the screen. If you can't see the screen because you're just listening to audio, please go look up the new sketch in uh, Rachel Morin's case. Um, Share it with everybody, especially Hispanic um, communities, because they believe he is Hispanic. The crime, where the crime happened in LA was in a Hispanic neighborhood. Um, and from all accounts, it's if you're not Hispanic walking around that neighborhood, you are the odd one out. You're a sore um, thumb. You're yep. a sore thumb and you will become a target. So it makes sense. And based off of the way he looked in that video, uh, which might I add, he walked very casually out of that home. Um, after assaulting somebody and a child and was kicked out by other family members in the home. Um, The Hartford Sheriff's Department released a podcast giving more details surrounding the investigation with this new sketch. Um, And they officially said she was found by the drainage uh, tunnels because we knew that from that person that found her, that young girl, from her father doing an interview. Mm -hmm. So we knew that, but they were trying to like, they came out and denied it and said it wasn't true. They were trying to keep that close to the vest for the integrity of the investigation, which I understand. But uh, unfortunately, it was already out there all over the internet um, that that's where she was found. But they they said officially that is what happened and she was drugged and, you know, there was um, a bloody trail. Now, they're not sure if Rachel Morin was targeted or not. Um, they have no idea. Uh, but the investigator who was talking the podcast said it's in his gut that she was so targeted. Some sort of stalking, saw her, followed her, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, They think so. I mean, that's just what he feels about it. But um, this man, there's two sketches. So there's one of just his face. Opinion, though. There's just no evidence. Right, right. right. So there's one of just his face and there's one with him, a red and black Jordans hat on. And that is the hat that he left at the L.A. crime scene where they supposedly got his DNA. Um, by all accounts, every expert I've heard talk on this and law enforcement officer has said that they believe he's escalating and this is going to be a serial killer. Mm. Um, so he is a threat to literally anyone and everyone, um, that's on the North American continent. (laughs) Like they think he could have fled to Mexico by now, but he could be anywhere, um, the scope of this crime is just, I can't explain it enough. I, I, I personally don't like to use like 
really graphic sounding uh, words, but it it was so graphic, man. I mean, he used a rock. He yeah, he used on a, her head a rock until she wasn't you know alive anymore. Um, yeah, but worse than that, like past the point of not being alive. Yeah, mm-hmm. mutil. It was like mutilation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure he did other things. We're not sure how he left DNA at the crime scene, um, but it's a a lot of people are speculating that it was SA. Um, You know, she was nude the way she was found. And it's it's horrible. Like she was a mother of five children. One is autistic and young. One is a is a, you know, I think she might be 18, but she's like a teenager um, you know, and the rest are pretty young children. It's absolutely mm-hmm. horrible. Her family, including her ex-husband, have been out doing uh, interviews um, all over the place. And uh, the interview room actually did a really good interview with her brother and her ex-husband recently and showed new pictures of her. So I highly recommend that recent episode. Um, and they talked about a lot more details too. Um, Chris McDonough actually worked in the neighborhood that Los Angeles crime happened. Um, so he has pretty good input on that location that I appreciate. Um, but yeah, I just, I need, I think this needs to be spread everywhere. I shared it with, um, you know, Hispanic people in my family and my circle and, I suggest literally everybody share it with everyone, uh, because they, it's very likely he knew the area somehow he had family there. Um, it's, and who knows where he's going next. Uh, I just know that people sometimes overlook a sketch. They think, Oh, that looks like somebody I know, but no way it could be that person. Um, they would never do that. Or they second guess themselves. I urge you not to don't second guess yourself. If this legit looks like somebody, you know, just have them checked out. If it's not the person, it's not the person like no harm, no foul. I mean, it could be, it could be anybody. You know what I mean? Like he could be so friendly to your face. You would have no idea. Mm -hmm. I urge you all to, um, you know, If you see somebody that looks like this, if you think you know somebody that may know this person in, you know, Los Angeles, please call Harford Chair Department, Um, you know, send in a tip. It could go a long way. Yep. Rachel Moore needs justice and so does her whole family, including her five children. Yep. If you see something, say something. Definitely. Definitely. But we will continue updating on this case as, you know, information becomes available. Um, I'm just, I'm really banking on this one. I really hope that they find him before there's another victim. It was, his cool down time was literally months. And if he hadn't been stopped at that Los Angeles home, who knows what would have happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's unfortunate. But that's it. 